and Ian will impact every corner of the state from the mountains to the coast. We're going to take you live to Wrightsville Beach right now. That's where Amanda Lamb joins us this morning with a look at what they're currently seeing. Amanda. Well, the sun is starting to come up, if you can call it that. It's starting to get a little light out here. And, you know, we've been out here all morning. It's been raining pretty hard. You can see the water is pulling here um, in this marina. Most people have left their boats in. They don't seem too worried about it. We've talked to a couple of boat owners. We've also seen a bunch of people out here walking their dogs this morning. But, of course, they have activated the Emergency Operations Center here in New Hanover County. And what they're really concerned about, in addition, to the potential for flooding in this area because they could get as many as six to eight inches of rain in some isolated areas is that storm surge. So maybe two to four feet of storm surge. And that's going to coincide. The high tide is going to coincide today with the um, uh, with the storm coming across in South Carolina. So again, these are just things they're going to be watching. No school today uh, live. They're doing that remotely. But for the most part, things are operating as normal here in New Hanover County, and they are just going to be watching these conditions and obviously responding to any issues that they see. Back to you. Our coastal communities know how to handle these storms. Amanda Lamb, live at Wrightsville Beach.